It's National Bullying Prevention Awareness Month, and its central message has inspired our next topic, disciplining children. Now, many times bullying can be stopped from its roots at home, and we all know it can be challenging when raising kids, particularly when they misbehave. Sometimes talking to them isn't as effective. Some parents will use consequences or punishments to stop bad behavior. However, there are things to consider when correcting your kids' behavior. This is what Blanca Cobb, who has a master's degree in psychology, and I are talking about today. Blanca, how do punishments come up short? Punishments come up short because they're meant to stop <sighs> behavior, misbehavior. However, they don't teach appropriate behavior or good behavior. For example, you can tell your kid that your kid hit somebody when they get angry, when they don't get their way. So you give them a punishment to get them to stop hitting, but what are they learning about appropriate behavior or interaction? Or what do they do the next time they feel like striking out at somebody? That's the drawback of punishments because they stop, they don't teach. Yeah, and what's a common mistake parents make when, uh, when punishing their children? One common mistake that parents make when they're punishing their kids is that they give out the punishment, they dole out the consequence when they're angry, when they're upset. It's like an immediate response to misbehavior. The problem with this is that sometimes when parents respond when they're angry, they haven't thought it through and their punishment can be too severe or too strict or too long, more than what it needs to be. It just really depends on what, what the misbehavior is and you wanna make sure that the consequence or punishment actually meets it. It's not bigger than what, than, than what the, the transgression was. Sure, and on the other side of it, what's a mistake that parents make when trying to teach their kid a lesson or just trying to stop their mm -hmm. misbehavior overall? That's a great question. And one mistake that I see parents make is that they'll say something that embarrasses or ridicules or humiliates their children. Not to say that all parents have that intention. That's just the end result. For example, if parents are going to post what their kid did on social media, say this is what they did and this is how they handled this is how I handled it. What do you think out there in social media world? That can be very humiliating and embarrassing for their child, right? Because people are going to know, their friends are going to realize, and it just gets to be a bigger problem. And in my opinion, there's certain things that just need to stay within the family. And I would imagine that if a parent has a problem at work and HR is involved, or their boss has a harsh conversation with them about something, or something doesn't go well, I don't think parents want for their work, their pace of employment, to post that on social media. So I just give that as an analogy, it's just that having, just sometimes things just need to be handled privately. Blanca, thank you so much for your insight, and you can continue the conversation with Blanca on her Facebook page, Blanca Cobb, body language expert.